Hello and welcome back to Bible Quizzes, where we test your knowledge of the scriptures. We have another 45 questions for you today, so let's get started. Question 1. Who among the following was not one of Joseph's brothers, Benjamin, Jacob, or Reuben? The answer is Jacob. Genesis 48, 8-25 these are the names of the sons of Israel, Jacob and his descendants, who went to Egypt, Reuben the firstborn of Jacob. Question 2. How many female judges did Israel have? Five, two, or one? The answer is 1, Judges 4, 4-16, and Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time, and she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. Question 3, Simon Peter went to Joppa and, through the Spirit of God, raised a faithful disciple of the Lord from the dead. What was her name? Tabitha, Priscilla, or Aquila? The answer is Tabitha. Acts 9, 36-40 Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. Question 4. According to the Pharisees, where did Jesus get his healing power from? Beelzebub, Asmodeus, or Belial? The answer is Beelzebub. Matthew 12, 24. But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, It is only by Beelzebub that the prince of demons that this fellow drives out demons. Question 5. In the book of Psalms, God says, And I will appoint him to be my firstborn, the most exalted of the kings of the earth. Who is God referring to? David, Hezekiah, or Solomon? The answer is David, Psalms 89, 1-45. I have found David my servant, with my sacred oil I have anointed him. Question 6. Who anointed the feet of Jesus with expensive oil and wiped his feet with her hair while he was having dinner at Bethany? Martha, Mary Martha's sister, or Mary Magdalene? The answer is Mary Martha's sister, John 12:3. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard and expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the fragrance of the... Question 7. Which king ordered Daniel to be thrown into a den of lions? King Darius, King Rehoboam, or King Ahab? The answer is King Darius. Daniel 6, 12-28 So the king gave the order, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. Question 8 Jesus was born during the reign of King Pontius Pilate, Herod, or Saul? The answer is Herod. Matthew 2.1 After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. Question 9. The book of Revelation talks about an angel of the bottomless pit abyss. Who was this angel? Lucifer, Abaddon, or Michael? The answer is Abaddon, Revelation 9-11. They had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek is Apollyon, that is destroyer. 10. Which prophet did God take to heaven in a chariot of fire and horses? Elisha, Elijah, or Isaiah? Elijah. 
2 Kings 2.11 As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Question 11 Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. To which two disciples did Jesus say these words? James and John, Matthew and Mark, or Simon Peter and Andrew? The answer is Simon, Peter, and Andrew. Matthew 4.18 As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Question 12 How did Adam and Eve become aware of their nakedness? The serpent told them, after eating the forbidden fruit, or seeing their reflections? The answer is, after eating the forbidden fruit. Genesis 3, 6-7 When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. Question 13. True or false? Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of gold. True or false? The answer is false. Matthew 26, 15, and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him 30 pieces of silver. Question 14. What did God use to lead the Israelites through the desert after they left Egypt? An angel, a star, or a cloud and fire? The answer is a cloud and fire. Exodus 13, 21. By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so that they could travel by day or night. Question 15. How did Paul escape Damascus when the Jews were plotting to kill him? In a large basket, on a chariot with horses, or snuck through the gate? The answer is, in a large basket, Acts 9, 24-25. But Saul learned of their plan. Day and night, they kept close watch on the city gates in order to kill him. But his followers took him by night and lowered him in a basket through an opening in the wall. Question 16. Only one of the four Gospels contained the name Nicodemus, the Pharisee who went to see Jesus at night. Which is it? Luke, Matthew, or John? The answer is John. John 3, 1 through 21. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. Question 17. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. According to the Gospel of Matthew, who was the angel addressing? Peter and John, the disciple Thomas, or Mary Magdalene and Mary? The answer is Mary Magdalene and Mary. Matthew 28, 1-6 After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Question 18 Which prominent member of the Jewish council went to Pilate asking to bury Jesus' body? Ananias, Cephas, or Joseph of Arimathea? The answer is Joseph of Arimathea. Mark 15.43 Joseph of Arimathea, a prominent member of the council, who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Question 19. Who was the name of the blind beggar whom Jesus healed in Jericho? Bartimaeus, Zacchaeus, or Timaeus? The answer is Bartimaeus. Mark 10, 46-52 As Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, which means son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. Question 20. How did Jesus preach his message in the New Testament? Through poems, through songs, or through parables? Through parables, Matthew 13, 11 through 14. 
This is why I speak to them in parables, though seeing they do not see, though hearing they do not hear or understand. Question 21. Jesus said it was earlier for a blank to go through the eye of a needle than for a blank to enter the kingdom of God. Child, child poor man, camel rich man, or child and camel? The answer is camel and rich man. Matthew 19.24, again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone to, who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Question 22. Why did God tell Moses to remove his shoes before approaching the burning bush? His shoes were dirty, he was standing on holy ground, or God would give him new shoes? The answer is he was standing on holy ground. Exodus 3.5 Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Question 23 According to the book of Genesis, God named the first woman Eve. True or false? The answer is false. Genesis 3.20, Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. Question 24, why was Moses angry with Eleazar and his brother Ithamar? They faulted on their priestly duties, they lied to Moses, or they failed to eat the sin offering at the sanctuary. They failed to eat the sin offering at the sanctuary. Leviticus 10.15-18 why didn't you eat the sin offering in the sanctuary area? It is most holy. It was given to you to take away the guilt of the community. Question 25. All this I will give you if you bow down and worship me. How did Jesus respond to the devil's temptation? Man shall not live by bread alone. Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Or worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Matthew 4, 8-10. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Question 26. Which of the following are not fruits of the Holy Spirit? Patience, kindness, goodness, wisdom, knowledge, healing, or love, joy, peace? Wisdom, knowledge, healing. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 27. Where was David staying when he learned of King Saul's death? Ziklag, Bethlehem, or Hebron? Ziklag. 2 Samuel 1.1 After the death of Saul, David returned from his victory over the Amalekites and stayed in Ziklag two days. Question 28. Where does the book of Revelation say the final battle will occur? Babylon, Armageddon, or Pergamum? The answer is Armageddon. Revelation 16.16 16, Then they gathered the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. Question 29 The Midianites sold Joseph to blank, one of Pharaoh's officials. Queen of Sheba, Pharaoh Shishak, or Potiphar? The answer is Potiphar, Genesis 37-36. Meanwhile, the Midianites sold Joseph in Egypt to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard. Question 30. While Joseph was in Egypt, he interpreted a dream for the Pharaoh. What was the dream? The Pharaoh saw birds eating from a basket of bread, he dreamt of seven thin cows eating seven fat cows, or the sun, moon, stars bowing down to him. The answer is he dreamt of seven thin cows eating seven fat cows. Genesis 41, 2-4 When out of the river there came up seven cows, sleek and fat, and they grazed among the reeds' law. 31. Who informed the pharaoh that Joseph could interpret dreams? The cupbearer, steward, or the chief baker? The cupbearer. 
Then the chief cupbearer said to Pharaoh, Today I am reminded of my shortcomings. 32. How old was David when he became the king of Israel? 40 years, 30 years, or 35 years? Thirty years, Second Samuel two five through four. David was thirty years old when he became king, and he reigned forty years. Thirty three. Complete the beatitude. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blank, for they shall be called sons of God. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Or for they shall be satisfied. For they shall be satisfied. Matthew five three through twelve. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Question 34. Which type of wood was used to make the Ark of the Covenant during the time of Moses? Gopher, Akakia, or Cypress? Akakia. Exodus 25.10. Have them make an Ark of Akakia wood, two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half wide, and a cubit and a half high. 35. For how long did the Israelites live in Egypt? 300 years, 430 years, or 550 years? 430 years. Exodus 12:40. Now the length of the time the Israelites' people lived in Egypt was 430 years. Question 36. What name was King Solomon given by the prophet Nathan at birth? Jedidiah, Absalom, or Joab? Jedidiah. 2 Samuel 12, 24-25 She gave birth to a son, and they named him Solomon. The Lord loved him, and because the Lord loved him, he sent word through Nathan the prophet to name him Jedidiah. 37. At what age did King Joash begin his reign? 7 years, 12 years, or 20 years? 7 years. 2 Chronicles 24.1 Joash was 7 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem for 40 years. 38. The book of Jeremiah talks about a king who had his eyes gorged out and was then imprisoned for life. What was the name of this king? Ahaz, Abimelech, or Zedekiah? Zedekiah. Jeremiah 52.11 then he put out Zedekiah's eyes, bound him with bronze shackles, and took him to Babylon, where he put him in prison till the day of his death. 39. Which prophet initially refused his mission to the Ninevites? Daniel, Jonah, or Ezekiel? Jonah. Jonah 1, 1 through 3. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. Question 40. How did Elijah sustain himself for 40 days and 40 nights on the mountain? He hunted his food, he did not eat at all, or he ate a meal prepared by an angel. He ate a meal prepared by an angel. 1 Kings 19, 5-9. All at once an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. Alright, that's all the questions that we have for today. Make sure to write down in the comments how many you got right, and share this video with friends and family so you can compare your score against theirs, and we'll see you in the next one.